Previously on home. Uh oh, dude, I know he's fucking he's fucking crazy. It's him. Okay, so I guess it's not Norman then. Maybe he was Norman. So maybe he was maybe I was right the first time. But then he's dead, so did I kill him or something, maybe? I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. I'd never been to Norman's place before. At least I didn't remember ever doing so. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Uh, yeah, actually I did. I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. Oh, I just make myself a sandwich, you know? Oh, this, oh, this, uh, all this sleuthing and murdering is... Oh, it's making me hungry. Ah, oh. no, 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 I'm sure they won't mind. I mean, he's not gonna care. I mean, pfft. What's he gonna do with the sandwich? <laughs> Nothing, I'm, other than lie dead on top of it. I mean, <sighs> all right. Anybody else here? Hello. God, not something else. One of Rachel's old fall coats hung on a simple rack. That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing there? Oh shit! So, oh shit. Okay, 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 now it's coming. I'm thinking maybe, maybe Norman was a killer. And he was, I don't know. I, it's supposed to look like maybe he was fooling around with Rachel, but I'm thinking maybe. I just realized, yeah, it's two, it's two apostrophe, yes, apostrophe. Rachel says this. <laughs> um, maybe, like, he thought that Norman was, I mean, he found out that Norman was the killer, and he was going to save his wife, maybe. Not, but it sort of looks like, you know, she was, committing infidelity, so then it's, you know, implicating him, like, oh, he murdered Norman because, in a rage, but really murdered him to protect her, maybe. I'm... That's what I'm thinking. My stomach tightened, and I was feeling sick with anger and confusion. I had to find Norman to sort this mess out. I already found him! He's dead! Dark patch staining the coat sleeve. Hey, honey, you here? There was a well maintained, well maintained gun cabinet here in Norm's room. I didn't know much about guns, but it looked like it kept a few hunting rifles and maybe even a few pieces he shouldn't have. One of the guns was missing. Oh, there's the gun that he is. He is. He was a killer, and I bet I killed him because I found out what he did. Okay, but I didn't know him to be such a collector. What the hell? I didn't find a key or anything. I was supposed to find, like, a key, right? I went up in the attic. I didn't see anything. I couldn't believe it. Okay, yeah, alright. Norman, you bastard. What were you doing here with Rachel? Did she do this with you? Or did you hurt her? Norman, maybe you deserve better. Maybe not. I sure as hell didn't close his eyes. I was too angry, too upset to even think about giving him the decency. I left him right where he lay, and I didn't touch him. I went over and farted in his face one loud time. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, one more, one more. Oops. <laughs> I actually spit on my screen a little bit. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go, yeah. Take that, Norman, you little psycho fuck. Alright. Okay. I, oh, a hairpin. I used the hairpin. Fuck me, I'm so stupid. I forgot. I forgot I got it. Alright, don't, don't judge me. Don't you judge me. Hold on a second. Okay. I just go. I don't even know what this guy's name is. Is he. I don't think he's ever said yet. Sorry. Make sure this. I kind of knocked that one. Make sure it was still not facing away. Use the hairpin to pick the lock. The hairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. General store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual things: postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Richard usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. I wonder if someone had robbed the place before killing Norman upstairs. I wonder too. Mm -hmm. 
The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. Can I look at it again? I guess not. There were, there were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape than then. Okay. Fresh air was a welcome change. I almost didn't even mind the rain. I couldn't understand what that box of dirty clothes was doing in Norman's attic. What had happened to him? To think that I had even looked. Was that because I was afraid or because I didn't care? I didn't care at all. Door. Another door. Hold on a second. Okie dokie. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. It is the right gate. How many gates are there? Jesus. This gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. Oh, I'm looking for my house. Back in the back in the hood. Back in the neighborhood. That's it. Door only led back. I had to find my house. It was locked tight. This wasn't my house. Post box. The letter was still sticking out as if someone had pushed it all the way. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Sure. The only was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. The letter read, Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this is in person. But we did... Well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband, and you're a friend. I need some time to sort this out, away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him, tell him, Norman, so don't you think you can hold that against me? I'm going to tell him and get, get past this. Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I even want to, but he deserves at least that much. Okay, so I guess, I guess they did sleep together. Goodbye. And nothing. Like. He's like, I have no words for this. I'm gonna keep looking around. Blood. That's gotta be my house, right? <laughs> I had in I entered our backyard. The ring gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Oh shit. Come on, man. You didn't actually kill her, did you? In your rage? Ah, oh, shit. There's blood everywhere. Held my breath as I approached our back door. I was terrified to step inside. Alright. You ready, guys? Let's do this. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. The flick I flicked the light switch. By the door, the power's off. Of course it is. The table was clean, it hadn't been used any time recently. Honey! I'm home! I'm home for murdering people! There's a family room? There was a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the inside the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Maybe she's not here. Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Okay. Real bill up and read it. To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? That's weird. Door to the basement. It was locked. Where had I put the damn key? The damned key! Front door was locked from the inside. I couldn't go out, though. I need to see if Rachel was here. Honey! Please don't be dead! Honey? The door was stuck shut. There was an old fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. I like, God, I don't know my own freaking house. Was that a ring? 
Finally, I found the last missing piece for my wallet. Oh, the old photo of Rachel and... And I stare, stare back at remind me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Yes. I replaced the photo in my wallet, feeling like I had got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? My television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt, I, I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but by then it was too late. I threw away the receipt. Damn it. Damn it all to hell. I actually want to look at it one more time. Rachel was pretty angry about that, I realized. It sounds like, did they not have a very successful marriage, did they? Sorry, I have to check to make sure there's one. the door there. Gotta be careful we're not missing anything here. Uh-oh. Our hallway mirror had been smashed. It's pieces scattered around the floor. Honey? Honey, this isn't funny! Hello? Our sink, which we need to replace. One of the taps always stuck, but I hadn't gotten around to fixing it yet. Honey? You in there? We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw footed bathtubs. You know what, I need to take a poop before we go find this out. Alright, there we go. Good. I take fast poops. Alright. Honey. Oh, that's my computer. My laptop had been left on. Only a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top of the drawer of my desk. Okay. I pocketed the key. Warren felt I've been running for a while. So I guess I did go there. I mean, maybe I did do it. Maybe maybe he did do all this. Uh, I mean it definitely does look like it now. I mean I was gonna say maybe I don't know. You there? Hello. Books that were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, and then I look more closely. It looked like that man in the house had some of the same books as I did. Uh-oh. My wife's... Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. Uh-oh. It was closed, but I had feeling what was in it. Yeah. Her away clothes? Rachel's suitcase contained clothes, toiletries, and a train ticket. Is this what you were going to do with Norman? Damn. Rachel, why? Were you really going to run away with Norman? Was I really such a monster? Oh shit, I got the key to the basement. Fuck me. This is we're gonna find her. <sighs> shit. I unlocked the basement door. Oh shit. Honey? You down here? There were old Christmas decorations in the box. Garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. I got some of that stuff with like pieces of your wife. There was a dirty old key here. Sure. I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. Must be something else important here. I'm guessing it's not the door to the house. There are old clothes and clothes and tools and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. What is that? I had put this divider wall since last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. If I hadn't finished yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed, I might have been able to break it through if I found something heavy enough. Okay. Shit. It's like the... God, it reminds me of the cask of Amontillado. Is it like, would he bury his wife alive or something? Some kind of fucked up shit like that. Our door's locked. Okay. Okay, I've got a key. Small key, so maybe something in my the grimy key I found in the basement unlocked the door. Oh, okay. I didn't even check this door. I can't believe that. Look, the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? Maybe more of a fight or a struggle. There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? Yes. I need that to. I appreciate its weight. It was good for murder. Alright. Alright, 
right, guys. Let's see behind what's behind his plaster in wall. Alright guys, I'm going to end here. Stay tuned next time for the epic conclusion to home. Anyway, I'd like it if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now and hop aboard the SSLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And until next time guys, stay classy. Fucking cliffhangers! Yeah!